We all want to be blessed. And on our part, we want to share that blessing to others. That's why when we end our conversations, when we have to part ways with somebody, we end it with these words, God bless you. But do we really understand what it means to be blessed? Welcome to Pathways of Hope. My name is Alvin Fabelia. Today, let's discuss Matthew 5, verses 1 to 12. This is the Sermon on the Mount. In today's Gospel, Jesus becomes the new Moses. Because in the Old Testament, Moses goes up to the mountain, receives the Ten Commandments from God, goes down the mountain, and shares the Ten Commandments to the Israelites. He shares to them the commandments, the rules of our Lord, so that they may be guided. In the same way, in today's Gospel, Jesus goes up to the mountain also, and then he preaches to everyone. He teaches them about the Beatitudes. Beatitudes literally means being blessed, in a state of being blessed. And what teachings does Jesus share to everyone? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When we read the Beatitudes, we realize something, that Jesus defines blessing or being blessed in a very different way. Our personal definition of blessing or being blessed is all about receiving something. It's all about making us comfortable, making us happy. It's all about getting a gift. It's all about something that will make us happy. But Jesus defines it differently. When he speaks about blessing, he speaks about words that are not usually synonymous to blessings as we know it. He speaks about persecution. He speaks about being a peacekeeper. He speaks about being pure in heart. He speaks about being meek. He speaks about mourning. Poor in spirit. These words are not normal words that you would relate to being happy or to being blessed. Because the point of Jesus is this. God does not want us to conform to the standards set by this world. God does not want us to follow how the world defines what blessing is all about. St. Paul exhorts us to do the same. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. So the question is, why should you and I follow the Beatitudes? Let me give you four reasons. We follow the Beatitudes because we want to be good. G-O-O-D. G. We follow the Beatitudes because the Beatitudes serve as our guide on how to live the good life. We live the good life as God defines it, not as how the world defines it. O. We follow the Beatitudes out of obedience to Jesus Christ. If we are Christians, then whatever Jesus says, we follow. O. We follow the Beatitudes because the Beatitudes is an opportunity for us to love others. Even the people who hate us, who persecute us, we follow so that we can love them because that is what Jesus tells us. And lastly, D. The Beatitudes lead us to our destiny. And our destiny is to be with God one day in His eternal kingdom. We follow the Beatitudes because we want to be good. If you were blessed by today's episode, why don't you like it, share it to your friends, tag their name in the comment section below. Help us to be a pathway of hope to others. Be good and God bless your week!